Baron Baptiste would say, our reliance on self-importance requires that we spent most of our lives in opposition of others. Whoa. And um, I was having this, this discussion with, with a friend of mine yesterday. Should we be in opposition and defend our position, our point of view, when people attack us? Maybe and maybe not, I said. Maybe not more so than, not, than most of the time because it's a little bit like a wound, right, that you have. And as you defend or you oppose the weakness, you fail to see the weakness within you so it'll never heal and never get better. And I did this video <laughs> about this this morning. And then we went into our Monday morning live with our team. And then somebody had, you know, the courage to ask a question about a project, project that I work on. And they asked, when are you going to be, is it going to be enough? But, you know, it's like we've t tried this several times and maybe it's time to call it quits. And additionally, you know, um, this is taking resources and we're not getting paid as much as the norm. And I lost it. I lost it. I just defended my position because it was directed at me. Because my, my new job is not CEO, my new job is to create these products that are, you know, revolutionary and changing. And I'm, you know, wasn't being successful. This is not my first try and it's not the first time that I've not succeeded. And I took it as a failure. So what I did is I got mad at them. At least that's the way I wanted them to do. It's a deflection, a distraction from the real problem is I'm not taking responsibility for my weaknesses, that I'm not asking for help. It's like a man not asking for directions like that. I was in opposition of myself, right? In opposition of other people, testing my resolve. And I apologize for that. I'm gonna apologize for that. Because it was a good question. There was nothing wrong with that question. But because I defended it, I showed my weakness in a way. I hid my weakness in a way. And that's not what we have to do as leaders, as fathers, as mothers. Like what we have to do is go into the vulnerability and not defend. I know this. I had the exact conversation with someone I was coaching to not do that. And here I go, I go and I do it. Yeah, it's a practice for sure. But I, were, I learned this morning is I, I'm not asking for help. I'm not going out there. I'm out there actually cutting the trees and making the path all by myself. That's how I feel. I feel I'm alone because I've made it all about me. That's the weakness of me trying to get this alone. And for that, I apologize. And I am so grateful for that person to ask me that courageous question because it got me to the point that I cannot do this alone. We exist for each other. We exist so we can complement each other and I forgot that. And I got mad. Not at you, I got mad at me. I got mad at me because it exposed the weakness. It exposed that I'm not that good. And therefore I defend it. But I understand now, like with the training I've gotten with Baron, I understand now that for me to heal, for me to grow, for me to get stronger where I am weak, I have to accept my weaknesses. I don't have to oppose them. I have to work easier, not harder. I have to be part of that community, of your community. And I have to ask for help in order for me to get stronger and for us to get stronger. So grateful. So grateful that I'm in a community that people have the courage to ask the difficult questions.
but I'm human too. It's a practice for sure. It's like, the, <laughs> you know, am I awakened yet? Not yet, said the, you, the, the guru. <laughs> I have to go back. Yeah. Thank you.